Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Alex and I'm gonna be doing a tutorial today. Not really a tutorial, I should say it's a get ready with me. I don't know how to really do this because I end up making like 50 minutes worth of content and I'm like nobody's gonna sit through me rambling on and struggling with my eyeliner for 50 minutes. But I don't know, I'll try it out, see if you guys like it, and if you don't, then I won't do it. I'm gonna try to show you everything that I'm using. My boyfriend has left me to go to Thanksgiving in Vermont, but I had to work anyway, so no problem there. So I have the apartment to myself for the next week. I don't have to put my camera stuff away because this we use as our like study area um, and he's in med school so he needs a study area. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 hour anti-crease by the way, eyeshadow primer. But since he's not here, I can keep my camera stuff out because it's such a hassle to put it away every single time after I film. Usually when I'm like, oh, I should film something. I'm like, but then I have to get all my stuff out and then put it away after. Also, my skin is angry at me lately. I don't know why I am, I'm using ingredients that shouldn't be irritating my skin. Maybe it's because I'm over moisturizing. Anyway, so I'm just trying to figure out what to do best. I started using my Zapset oil control cleanser. And so I started that last night. So hopefully that'll help it. I'm going to take the excess. I'm not going to take any other product on this, but I'm taking my unstoppable powder brush that I use with my powder. And I'm just putting that over my eyes to make sure that they're powdered down after my primer. What has been up with you guys? How are you? How is your life? Things are getting, I know this is like, nobody wants to talk about coronavirus anymore. Like, honestly, nobody does. But I'm just gonna like touch on real quickly. Like things are um, becoming a, more strict here in Maine, which is the state that I live in. I'm gonna take the shade Ahasi in the the Warrior palette by Juvia's Place. It's that shade right there. And I'm gonna sweep that all over my lid. But now there's a curfew of nine o'clock. I think it mostly has to do with restaurants. And it sucks that we have to shut down again, you know? Right now I'm going to take Florence which is this yellowish color. I like to mix these a lot. They make the perfect transition shade for me. I'm gonna work that. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with Selfish, which is this kind of pink rosy color. And I'm gonna start to target it closer to the outer edge rather than, I mean, I'm still gonna blend it out towards the crease and towards the inner part of my eye in the crease but as the colors get darker I'm gonna concentrate them more closely to my lash line. This is usually my regular makeup routine although I don't have my eyeliner I just ran out. I just ran out of it but it's coming in the mail on Wednesday I believe. I made a kind of challenge for myself for makeup and skincare. I have so much and I'm, I really want to use up what I have before it expires, before, you know, I have to throw it away or, you know, because it can be really overwhelming if you have a lot of clutter. And if I can use it up, I would like to. So, long story short, the challenge is basically I'm not going to buy any 
new, sorry, I'm slouching. The goal is not to buy anything new, any new products, unless I am on my last product. For example, like I just used my last eyeliner, and so I bought two of them, one to use and one for backup. And when I'm using that backup one, I will allow myself to order another liquid eyeliner. So that means I'm not gonna be buying eyeshadow or powder, primer. I have so much of that stuff and it's until my birthday I'm not allowing that, which is about just three months in a day. I'm gonna go in with Calabasas, which is this light brown color, and I'm gonna focus that on the outer edge like I said earlier. I don't know, I, I think it's nice to get new things, but it's also nice to appreciate what you have. Um, it will also help me save money, which is a plus, you know, especially with Christmas coming around. Okay, I'm just blending this crease out a little more, just with the excess on the brush. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is the KKW Classic eyeshadow palette. <sighs> I'm not a good YouTuber, obviously. So I'm gonna go into, what is this? Gemini, which is this darker, kind of reddish brown, I guess you could call it. I should say what has helped me is I always screenshot what I want to buy. And so when I go to Sephora or Ulta online or in store, I will look at all the pictures I have and say, Oh, that'd be really cool to try. And that's usually how I get it. So, to prevent my going through my pictures and finding products and then finding them in store and buying them or finding them online and buying them, I created a Google Docs document where I found all the pictures on my phone. Now, what I do is when I see something that I like, I'll screenshot it and then soon after I'll add it to the Google Docs. I have it organized from least expensive to most expensive in each category and they're all things that I want to try out and I shared it with my boyfriend in case like he's like, I don't know what to get her for, you know, Christmas or whatever. Um, I just add what I want on there. I only shared it to him in case he wants to buy me something to do with makeup or skincare or something, um, but it's mostly a list for me. Okay, sorry, I'm now going in with family, which is the dark brown in here. And again, I'm just getting closer and closer to the outer edge. What I'm, I really want to get that I put on my list, but I just want so badly. Um, but I'm not gonna allow myself to get it. But what I wanna get is the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie collaboration. That palette is so beautiful. The yellows, the... She just... Raw Beauty Christie, this has been a hard year for a lot of people, but this has been basically her best year. She got pregnant after years and years of infertility. She hit 1 million subscribers. She collaborated with ColourPop after really wanting to collaborate with ColourPop. I'm so happy for her because she's just seems like a genuine, genuine soul. But that palette is so beautiful. Usually I'm like, oh yeah, that palette's pretty. I want to try it. But this one, I'm like, I just want to go and buy it. I just want to go get it. I think they're sold out right now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I think they are going to restock. Not quite sure, but that is what I'm thinking. I'm going to blend in a little more over here. I don't know if this is a tag that Ali Klein started using nothing new. She has a lot of videos like that. And I think that's important to have because it does show you that for people that don't get PR every single week, that don't get, you know, crazy amounts of free things, it's nice to use what you have. It's nice to create different looks with what you have. So I think that's important. And I think that's a good thing that Ali 
started oh sorry this is this i'm not good at this this is the stila shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow in starlight i'm just putting that all over the lid i'm gonna get the same blending brush which is the it brushes for ulta effortless crease brush and i'm just gonna go and make sure that the crease and the liquid eyeshadow kind of blend together and there isn't abrupt edges. So anyways, if people want to join me, um, I will be doing this until February 9th. And if anybody wants to join me in this kind of challenge to use what you have, then come on and join me. Let me know in the comments if you decided to do that because that'd be fun. That'd be fun, you know? So, as I said before, I used all of my liquid eyeliner, so I'm going to go about using gel eyeliner, which is a process. I might not even record this part because it's not gonna be fun to watch. It's, it's, you're just gonna be watching me like, what is she doing? I'm just not good with, oh, please don't look too closely, yikes. Um, I'm just not too good with gel eyeliners. MAC Pro Longwear Fluid Line in shade Black Track. This is not going well. Whatever, this is what I have. We're not going to look too closely at it. Thank you, thank you. Look at my nails. Don't they look so pretty? Sometimes I bite them which is such a bad habit. It's not as much of a habit now. It's usually like if I if I bend one and then I'm like, oh, it feels so weird. I wanna bite it off. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Tweezer Man eyelash curler. Oh, so today's candle, which usually I have a candle burning in the background of my videos, is a new one like a little itty bitty one can you see it it's right above my finger that is actually from tony's sister she has created a candle company which is called cosmic cat and she sent a couple of them to us um for tony's birthday to try out the one i'm burning right now purpo i will leave the name right here it smells like cinnamon, um, I forget what exactly it is, but it's cinnamon, something like that. And the other one we have is called Persephone, which is the scent of pomegranate, but it smells like strawberry Laffy Taffy or something. It smells so sweet, but so good. So I thought I'd give her a little shout out to learn more about it. I'll see if she has a website or I'll put the Instagram down below so you can check it out. They're little itty bitty candles. They're so cute. Now I'm gonna use the Lancome Sills Booster XL Lash Primer. So what have y'all been doing? What is, what is up with y'all? Lately I have been watching, oh, I'm not gonna do the lower lash yet. Not yet. Now I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs mascara <laughs> i don't know if there's several but this is what it looks like and the color is blacker like lacquer at lashed this is the lifting and volumizing mascara that's what it's called do you have any plans for thanksgiving like how did it sneak up on us so fast i will probably be going to my mom's um, or celebrating with my friend Katie and her family. I don't live around my dad or my Nana because my Nana lives with my dad right now. Um, they live in Texas currently and I'm going to see my aunt and uncle that live around here. I'm going to see them tomorrow because I haven't seen them in like months and I miss them so so much. Oh my goodness. My aunt, my uncle, and my baby cousin. I keep saying he's my baby cousin. He's not. He's not a baby. He's like nine years old, eight or nine. 
My goodness. He's in the fourth grade. But he is just precious. He's like the little brother I never had. I have two older brothers, but he's like the little brother I never had. And he's just... Love him. Ooh, I really like this mascara. It just makes your lashes look not... It doesn't make them look clumpy or spidery. Even building them up. You could build them up a little bit, but it's more of like a natural looking type mascara, I think. I like it. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let's do the eyebrows. Okay, so this is probably going to be the most boring part of the video. I am going to... I need a mirror. I'm going to use my Fenty MVP Brow MVP Sculpting Brow Wax pencil thing. I'm going to be using the brush side first and I'm going to be brushing them up. And then I'm going to wax them up when I'm satisfied with the position they're in. But anyways, what have you guys been watching? Because I have been watching a lot of Emily D. Baker. I think it's so fascinating to see the law side of things about the current lawsuits that are going on with Without a Crystal Ball and Tati and then Tati and their business partner. I think it's so fascinating to learn exactly what what the claims are. It's very interesting. I've watched about five or more hours <laughs> of it already and I am just it's really getting me. I'm also watching a lot of MLM or anti-MLM videos right now. And I'm playing a lot of Animal Crossing. <laughs> well, I haven't, to be fair, I'm not playing a lot of it right now. I got it yesterday. Before Tony left, he was like, would you play it? And I said, yes. And I was crying because he was leaving and I'm you know, I was gonna miss him and stuff. So anyways, he was like, would you play it while I'm gone? And I said, well, yeah. And so he started ordering it and he ordered it on the Switch for me, which it's his Switch, but <laughs> I gave it to him for his birthday, but he ordered it for me and now I'm getting the hang of it. And up until a week ago, I thought Animal Crossing was... <laughs> I thought it was just animals crossing a street or something and you didn't want them to get hit by a car or something like cartoon animals but I don't know I just thought animal crossing oh that sounds like a like a animals crossing the street and you wait to see your high score at the end spoiler alert it is not it does not have anything to do with with animals crossing the street so if you're looking for that, you're going to be very disappointed. I'm going to be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Auburn. And I'm just going to be filling these babies in. Up until the last few months, I just would fill in my eyebrows and then do gel. But this soap brow game has really changed up my brow game, I believe. Like, look how pretty. Doesn't that look pretty? Oh my gosh. If it doesn't, just let me live in my bubble, please. I don't get my eyebrows waxed or um, threaded or anything like that. I just do them myself. I just pluck my eyebrows where they need to be plucked, and that seems to work for me. I've tried waxing my eyebrows once, and it just... I didn't see a significant difference. It was nothing I couldn't do with just a pair of tweezers and nothing I couldn't do within like five minutes. So I'm just taking my finger and kind of combing them up and setting them in place. So I'm gonna do that one last time over here. Make sure everything's filled in. Now I'm gonna go in with my brow gel. Elf Clear Brow Gel. I think it's the sheer brow gel. Um, I'm not quite sure to be honest. 
I've been toying with the idea that I want to go back onto the 75 hard program here let me let me start doing my face and I'll tell you all about it I'm using the benefit pore professional pore primer on my nose and my forehead so if you watched my favorites video I did a while back I think it was in August favorites video if you watched that video that I did that I did a review oh dang it I did a review of the book that Andy Frisella the man that created the challenge I did a review of that um, and it was in my monthly favorites I did not finish the challenge it was really difficult and I just was feeling really down and so I decided to take a break but I decided that I might want to start it again. So, which I'm pretty nervous about. I don't want to get discouraged again and not, not finish up, but I'm going to be trying my best and I can do it. I can. This challenge is not for everybody. So I'm just taking my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in 415 with my Tati Blendiful. I do not like, I think the primer and my sunscreen that I put on before is starting to pill. I don't think they're getting along, the primer and the sunscreen, so it's kind of annoying. The challenge, I will put the rules right here if I didn't already. So these five things you have to do every day for 75 days straight, which can be difficult, but it's really... The mental game of it. It's not as much the physical thing. In the winter it's kind of harder but that's kind of what I want. I want kind of a harder challenge because it will really prove to myself what I can do. So I will leave that linked below if you're interested. It's a completely free program. You do not have to pay for anything. You can pay for the app um, that helps you stay accountable but it is not necessary whatsoever. The book is not necessary. It's supposed to be hard. <laughs> it is. It's supposed to be a hard program. Um, that's the whole point of it. It's not meant to be easy. That's why it's called 75 hard. What I just put on was the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector in light to medium. I just want to live life to the fullest degree every single day. Um, that is my goal. I understand this is a lot of makeup for some people. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in 16N, which is a fair light neutral. This is by Tarte. I'm gonna take my Sephora Collections sculpting sponge, I believe it's called, and make sure everything is blended. I don't like to go to work out with a mask on, but I might just have to suck that up. So I'm just packing the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder in Baba Banana. I'm packing that under my eyes. I'm gonna leave it for a little bit and then I'm gonna sweep that away. I'm also putting some right here to accentuate the contour I'm about to put. Or not the contour, but the bronzer. I'm gonna put it on the tip of my nose too. <laughs> I'm gonna use a tilted or a slanted brush. And I'm gonna use that to, I'm just gonna stamp it right there, right above that banana powder that I put. I'm also gonna put it under my nose because my nose tends to droop a little more than I would like. I've also started writing a power list. I try to every day, but I forget a lot of the days to write it. But a power list is basically what will help you to reach your goals. So if that's to finish your homework or finish your assignment that you've been putting off, it's you can put that on there. If it's something you want to make a habit, you can also put that on there. It's supposed to move you towards your goals that you want to eventually get to, what will help you get to the goals you want to get to in a year or five years or 10 years. And it's made me very productive, very productive. This is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker in the shade Indesign. That's what I use to warm up 
the sides of my face. I'm gonna go back into my KKW Classic Eyeshadow Palette and I'm gonna get the crease brush again. I'm gonna mix Selfish and Calabasas, which this is Selfish, this is Calabasas, and I'm gonna run that underneath my lash line. And now I'm gonna finally put mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, we're almost done, promise. So I'm gonna take this pure P10 fluffy brush and I'm just going to sweep off that excess banana powder. Now I'm gonna go into my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Sculpture. Use the Strobe Blush Vibrant Flush, which is, which is this shade. I'm gonna sweep that on. It is pretty pigmented. Just make sure you're going with a light hand. If you have texture in this area, you might not want it, but I kind of have texture and I don't really care, so. This was one of the last, I think the, the last order that I placed before I started my challenge, but I am so glad I did. I'm gonna go ahead and set the base. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set Spray. I'm gonna go and set that one more time with my sponge. Oh, one thing I have been loving. Oh my gosh. So I, as I'm looking for this, I, it dawned on me. I don't think I've mentioned this before. This is the Allie Glines makeup set. So, oh, sorry. So this is the Allie Glines makeup set. This is what it looks like. They're already dirty, <laughs> but I've had this since I asked for it for my anniversary gift from Tony and because we just celebrated three years together and I got the same thing for my best friend's birthday which was a little less than a month later and so yeah I've just been really loving these makeup bags. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Olimar Cosmetics lip liner and birthday suit. I haven't tried this yet. Ooh, This is such a creamy formula my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is such a creamy formula. It's almost a little too creamy. Kathleen Lights was raving about the duo and how much she loved it. And I kind of wanted to try it out, but they sold out and just never restocked it. But it was the birthday suit lip liner and lip gloss duo. This is the Pat McGrath Flush Fantasy Lust Lip Gloss. I have two of these that I didn't mean to <laughs> get both of them. I'm kind of glad I did. I love, I love this lip gloss. It's a little thick, but it makes your lips look so pouty and so shiny. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Please let me know if you want to see something else that I haven't done yet, or if you want to see more of something. Um, I am open to a lot and yeah, check out Tony's sister's candles. I don't know if they're for sale yet, but they will be very shortly. I hope you guys liked this get ready with me kind of video. If you did, make sure to like it to let me know that you want to see more things like it. Subscribe if you would like to see more of me and ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I post a video. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. And I will see you guys in the next video.